Hey everyone, so if you have a Xterra Pro detector, you may or may not be aware that there is an update available for it, a software update. And today I'm going to show you how to do that. Stay tuned. Before we get started, there's a few things that you're going to need, obviously, and here you can see on the screen, minimum system requirements, you're going to need a computer, whether it's Windows, Mac OS, and you're going to need the US, a USB 2 port, uh, you need the cable that comes, the charging cable that comes with the Xterra Pro, and of course you need your detector charged, and that is going to stay on during the process. I'm going to be doing the update on a Mac, it's a Mac Mini, and I went to the MindLab page to try and find out the information about the update, I could not find it. So I just went to Google, I put in MindLab Xterra Pro Update, and it popped right up, and I'm going to go with the second one here, it says Xterra Pro Software Update, we'll press on that. And because I'm in Mexico, of course, it's going to come up in Spanish, but we'll change it to English. And now we're on the right page for the upgrade. Now, this page is going to give you all the information that you need to do the upgrade. It's not difficult to do at all. Gives you a step by step process, but I'm going to walk you through it anyway so that you can see how that works out so the first thing we're going to do is come to this part of the page where it says downloads and we've got the xterra pro mind lab update utility for windows and then for mac so i'm going to click on the mac one do you want to allow downloads on mindlab.com yes i do and it's sent it up there to the top to download okay let's click on that and the download is happening it's going to take a while on this computer it's an old computer and we've got slow internet so i'll be back in a moment okay so it's done let's press on it and see what happens okay and then we have the utility ready to go so what we're going to do now is open the utility. Open. And we get this ready to connect a device and check for updates. Let's connect the Xterra Pro. So I've got the cable here, got the detector. We're going to Connect that, we're going to turn on the detector. Let that power on. Let's turn the volume down on that too. Okay, and then we're just going to plug this USB cable into the back of the computer. As soon as we do that, it recognizes the detector and it's telling us that there is in fact an update, gives our current software version and the new one. So we're going to click on install. Of course, again, we get the message, do not disconnect or turn off your device. And let's watch the progress there. I've got a feeling this could take a while on my computer. But there it goes. And it looks like it's just about to finish. In real time, that took about five minutes. You hear the beep there? and we're 100% on the installation. A few more seconds later, and it switches to this screen, installation complete, your device can now be disconnected. Let's do that. Now we're 
turn it off. And we'll quit out. And that is all there is to it. It's quite a simple uh, process. So what is it that you're actually getting with this new update? Well, I'm sure there's a few tweaks to various parts of the system. But basically, the update is for continuous auto noise cancelling. It says pressing and holding the accept reject button with noise cancel selected in the settings menu will continuously run noise cancel until the button is released. Running noise cancel over a long period improves the measurement of noise on each channel and can capture noise sources that vary with time giving the user the best possible noise rejection in challenging EMI environments. So uh, in simple terms, <laughs> they've made some tweaks to the software so that when you get a lot of electromagnetic interference, you have a better way to cancel that out and get a better, quieter, more stable detecting experience. So there you go. If you have an Xterra Pro, give that update a try. I'm sure it's going to help. If for some reason it doesn't or you don't like it, you can always go back to the original factory settings on it. And if I understand correct, with that will nullify all the updates that it has on it. Yeah, I'd definitely be interested to know if you think that that has improved your uh, detector, the software on the detector and the ability to cancel out that electromagnetic interference like from um, power cables that are overhead, uh, things like that. But, well, that's all for now. We'll catch you on the next one.